Well, welcome back everyone. We are at 66 Sidra Cove, Crystal Cove, Newport Coast, California. This one's exciting because this one underwent a re recent renovation, brought it to market. I want to point out some of the key factors that really kind of brought this up to the today's standards, right? So all new wood appearance flooring throughout here. There were some columns, sort of that heavy Tuscan vibe that uh, was reminiscent of the early 2000s. Uh, we follow into here. The kitchen is very, very spacious. And so we're right around $8 million. And what you get in Crystal Cove, this is about 4,200 square feet. But look at this view. Hopefully we can get some of that, the beautiful blue water. And you know, there are opportunities to even make it a little bit more beautiful, meaning you know, there are these grids on the windows. You could open that up and do a picture window, which would really showcase that beautiful view that you're paying for. But I do like this big entertainer's kitchen. You could put a nice butcher block island here if you wanted to, but I like the space because what happens when you entertain? Typically when I have people over my house and I'm cooking, because I'm the one that does the cooking in the house, people always come in the kitchen and congregate. So there's a lot of room here. You've got a little peninsula island with a wine fridge. You've got a breakfast nook and it all opens up with French doors out to the front courtyard, which is really cool. We can show you that later on the way to the casita. Uh, but it does have a fireplace, which is nice and cozy as well. You have a powder back here, opens up into this family room, which would likely be your TV area. TV up here over the fireplace. You have a nice covered loggia out here, which we can go out uh, in a second and take a look at that, but it just showcases the beautiful view. As we walk back through here, you've got a little wine wall and then you've got your formal dining. And I think this was originally meant to be the formal living room, but I'm, I'm gonna call it a lounge. So I think I love having kind of overflow loungy areas because when you have a dinner party, sometimes people wanna just get up and kind of chill right here, which is nice. And then let's pop out here to the covered loggia, which is a nice feature. You can pop out here and you've got this beautiful view. You've got Catalina Island right there at about one o'clock. I actually can see San Clemente Island, which is way out there. Very rarely do you get that. Gorgeous, so follow me. We're gonna head back in. We'll go downstairs to see we have two additional bedrooms and a flex space, which is really cool. You could use it. Uh, you could create a, a movie theater, media room, can just be a general flex space for your children or whomever. Just a, a great getaway spot. Uh, and then you've got the walkout backyard. And this one, which is unique for most of these, uh, some of the homeowners came in yesterday and just were impressed that it has a built-in ground spa, all while having the, the view. So you have views from all three levels of this property, which is great. I mean, that's a beautiful, beautiful dark water ocean view right there. We'll pop into bedroom number three over here. So really the, the layout is great, especially if you have maybe some older children or this is a great vacation property too because the upper, we're gonna go up to the upper uh, level, which is the whole primary suite. All right, so I'll turn left into this beautiful bathroom space. So you've got dual vanity, all refreshed standalone tub and that is not your neighbor looking at you that's actually you're getting a glimpse of the detached casita which basically is over the three-car garage and then we come back this way and off to my right this is that alcove area that's a flex space we currently have it staged up as an office most people do need home offices these days with a beautiful panoramic view fireplace but it also could be a great place to throw up your peloton you know maybe even a cold plunge and then that's there your closet. Again, that could be theoretically made into another much bigger closet. And then you have this beautiful primary suite with wraparound windows and this gorgeous view. Absolutely stunning. Fireplace, tall ceilings, bright light, just a gorgeous property. So if you follow me now, we're gonna head out through the front door into your private courtyard and then up the stairs to the casita. So this is that outdoor courtyard space. So off the kitchen, off the front door, front entrance, you have your garage entrance here, it's gated. So this is all private fireplace, which is cool as I mentioned already. And you follow me up here. And this is the detached casita, which again, you know, with very flexible space, 
could be a guest suite, could be, you could add a kitchenette or a kitchen and make it a full in-law suite. Could be an awesome like billiards game room, kids hideaway, homework room, whatever. But it's about 500 square feet-ish and super tall ceilings, lots of windows, very bright, beautiful space, full bathroom, full walk-in closet, amazing space. Not to mention that you do also from the patio and through these windows have beautiful views. All right, thanks so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Can't wait to show you the next one.